Hey guys, Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and today I'm gonna to show you the number one power serve drill you need to be doing if you wanna hit your serve bigger, faster, and better than ever. And we're using a real student today to show you everything that's gonna be happening, all the good, bad, and the ugly. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, so we got one of my very brave students, Shelly, coming on camera. Uh, she, we did a lesson today and then actually she was watching me do one of my tips for power serve tip week. And um, she was saying, you know, there's not enough videos out there for, for women tennis players, right, on the serve? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so tell me a little bit about your thoughts on that. Well, when you use Sampras and Federer as an example, it's kind of hard for me to imagine being able to do what they do. Yeah. So I'm going to add power, but you know, at my own level. Right. So I just want to make sure the drills are the same. And so she wants to know, is it the same for the men and for the women? And first of all, Serena, I've talked about this on many videos, I think Serena might have the best serve motion out of everybody. It's just so beautiful, it flows. Um, one of the most important things though, is that to have a really powerful serve, every server has to get to something I call the secret power source, which is holding in this power position until you're gonna go into the leg drive, until your legs are ready to go up and to explode. And as she was watching me make the video, I noticed you were having some trouble with that. So, and then she started to do my drill and she said, well, this is hard. And she was only like, did like three tosses. This is hard, this is hard. You guys it gotta work, hard. you gotta work at it. <laughs> Everything's hard until it's easy, okay? I never said my drills were like easy, you get it just like that. You gotta work at this stuff. So, Shelly and I are about to go to work and you guys can watch. So let's get started. I wanna show everybody what we're doing here is we want to get in the secret power source. That's where the racket is facing this way forward. This is what the pros do. This is a power position, like if you're going to throw a ball. All the all professional athletes get here. Roger Federer has a big one, so does uh, Andy Roddick. So the exercise is to throw the ball up and you don't go into your racket drop until your legs start to drive up at the ball. Then that's when you do your racket drop. And you have to start moving behind the ear like this, moving this way, like you're gonna come back and brush your hair, okay? What Shelly does, what a lot of people do, she goes back into the pizza move. So this is gonna be really tough for her to do because even though she's gonna be here in the secret power source, years and years and years of experience are gonna tell her, go back here, Shelly, and hit the serve, right? So, I mean, it, you have to work at this. It's not something that's a, a magic pill, but it's the way to get better. It is the way, there is no other way, okay? It's a non-negotiable way. You gotta come here, and you gotta get into your racket drop, and your leg drive has to happen at the same time. So the first exercise that we're gonna do with Shelly, is I'm gonna tell her to toss the ball up and say stop, and she's gotta stay in the secret power source. She's saying stop when her toss reaches the top. So she's training herself to keep the arm still until it gets to the very peak of her toss. So go and do that. So there she goes. Stop. stop. Good, do it again. Stop. Stop, not bad. Stop. So first of all, she's doing fantastic. Notice how much her legs are involved. How much rhythm is there right now? How much rhythm do you feel? A little. A little. Okay, so there's a little rhythm. So she's got to also work on her rhythm. So I mean, this could literally be a drill you do without even hitting a ball for the entire day. Watch what I'm do gonna do now. So Shelly's basically going like this. Stop. Stop. Okay, now watch what I'm doing. Stop. You see I'm going, I'm doing like my real motion. See, if I'm gonna go in my motion, I like to do this rock back. I like to bring the leg up. You can stay platform, it doesn't matter. But look what I'm doing here. I'm actually gonna get, like I'm gonna do a real serve, but I don't move. Stop, you see, see how there's some flow there? Okay, see if you can do that. See if you can get whatever your flow is on your serve. That looks better, where's the stop? Stop. Okay, so she's getting a little more flow, a little more rock back. Stop. That looks better, push that hip out a little bit. Stop. Really commit to the windy tree. I want, I, want, I want Shelly to really push that hip out that way, guys. Go ahead. Stop. Good. Stay in secret okay. power source. Stop. See, that's one thing. If you've never done this before, it's hard to Stop. toss and stay in secret power source. She's getting much better. Stop. That's good. That was her best one. Okay, now, what I want you to do now, that was your best one. Give me five. That was amazing. Did that one feel any better? Yeah. Okay, good. More natural. More natural. Now what I want her to do, is now she's gonna replace the word stop with go. 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 The reason why we're saying go now is now she's gonna train that go, that go cue is gonna be when the racket should start to drop behind her head 
and bring the leg drive up into it. But she's not gonna swing yet, so you're just gonna get your rhythm. No, 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 secret power source. See how it's easy for the body to start doing other stuff? Right here. Go. Good, get more rhythm. Go. Good. Go. Good. Go. Good, that was a good one. Go. Good. Take, take your time with it more. You're starting to do one toss after the next. It's not a race, guys. What you want to do is really get your body settled. She's also kind of heaving her toss. You want to flow a little more. Just release the ball and let the momentum go. See that? Go. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Good. Go. That's it. Stay in that secret power source. Go. Hold on. Really hold it still out here. Keep that still. Go. That's better. Look how much better that looks. Go. Good. One more. Go. Good. Okay, so she's getting there. Notice how it's getting better. And, and this, my point I'm trying to make here is she could literally just do this all week. People want to always get to the end result so fast. But if you're just doing this and really taking your time methodical with this, you're going to develop good habits that you never had before. Okay? And if it feels uncomfortable, guess what? It's supposed to. It's new. Now, what she's going to replace go with uh, is now, she, now the go is going to be actually going to swing. Okay? So what I'm going to be here is I'm going to come here, I say go, and when I say go, that's when I'm going to drop behind the head. Now here's the key. I got to bring the thumbnail behind my head and not flip back. So we'll see if Shelly can do that. If she can't do it, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. It's just pointing out a problem. That's why it's so important to film yourself. But watch what I do here. I'm going to come here and go. Okay, not bad. That was Was a pretty good serve. All right, so now Shelly's going to do the same thing. Okay, notice. Notice what she did there. She, she, well, not even that. You did do the pizza, but she went like this. She went. Go. See, so she, your first move, right away, as soon as you toss the ball, you went back here. Okay, that's not a big deal, guys. That's the way life is. It's not easy. It's not easy. You've got to work your way through this if you want success. So go again. See if you can hold it there. Oh, bad toss. Okay. That was a little better. Say the word go. See if you can hold. You can't make a move with that arm until you go. Go. Okay, now let me ask you a question. And guys, don't worry about the balls hitting the net and all this kind of stuff. You can't be obsessed with the ball going in, all right? So as you're doing this, do you think you're still until you say go, or do you think you're making a move before you say go? Making a move. Okay, so I want you to go again, and I want you to tell me if you're making a move before you say go. And this might be the number one thing that we're trying to accomplish today. Go. Okay, so when did you say go? Maybe at the right time. Okay, when did the racket move? Maybe early. Early. As soon as you're tossing the ball, you're going back here. Oh, okay. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do with it right now, guys. So, say go. Go. See how that racket's still? Again, and see if you can get a toss to where you get, get the perfect toss. Get that arm straight. There you go. Go. Good. Do that again. Go. Good. Go. Good. Now watch what I'm going to do with her, guys, because she's going like this, right? So watch what I'm going to do. And maybe you can have a friend or a coach do this with you. Watch this. Go. Good. I want you to relax your hand. Go. Good. Go. Go. You see, this is where her racket's got to go. 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 See? So that's got to be your first move. She's got to come back this way. Go ahead. Go. Good. She did much better. Did you guys see that? The toss. Another thing that's this going to show this drill is a lot of people have trouble doing this drill. 
and they're tosses all over the place. It's going to show you where your toss is and how much work it actually needs, okay? So, so let's do this again. Good. Say go. Go. Relax more your hand. Go. That was much better. I want my... Go. Rela her hand's still too tight. Be loose. Go. That's better. Go. Better. Okay. Try it again. Better job, but notice she starts, she, w she went more this way and less that way, but she moved her racket right away. Okay, so again, let's feel what it feels like to stay still. Go ahead. Go. Commit your legs into it too. Go. Good. Go. Go. See that? That's starting to, she's starting to become more natural there too. Whoops. Okay, so try that again. You're gonna get to go and swing again. Okay, notice how she still, don't move until you say go. Okay. And the go, the go is not the hit. The go is when you're going to start to swing. So oh. the go is when, the go is when the ball stops. Okay? So watch this. I'm going to say go when I see the ball stop. Not when I hit the ball. Go. See? See that? That's when I say go, is when I see the ball stop in the air. And then that's when I can drop my racket and explode at the ball. So let's do this one more time together, setting you up. Make sure you use your legs. Go. Good. Relax your hands more. Go. That's better. Go. Yeah. Get your timing. Go. You got to get a better toss. Go. Yeah. Good. So you can see her toss kind of going all over the place. We'll work on that on a different video. All right, now let's see if you can do it. Go. Much better. Much better. And one thing that is, first of all, give me five. That's a, this is a lot of hard work. What do you think about this work so far? This is very tedious. It's very tedious. <laughs> Have you ever, what, what, what was your profession or is your profession? I was a banker. A banker. Is there a lot of tedious things going on in banking? Uh -huh. Okay. Can you just skip steps and do, do a lot of the things? No. Or you gotta do it, right? Anything worth having is tedious. Okay, so you're getting there. The work is getting there, okay? It's easy for people out in YouTube land to say, oh, well, that's not perfect. I'm not looking for perfect on the first day. We're already getting better, okay? And the last serve was really good, and what kept that from being uh, getting a lot more power on it is the arms started to drop. Mm -hmm. So see if on this next one, let's see if we can get one where you really hold this, the first move is coming back here, and, and then when you say go and you go up to hit, that your upper body is still up going to hit it. What happened there, she, she did a lot of good things, but then she lost a lot of power quickly because the front shoulder started to like drop like a rock. That's because she's just focused on so many things right now. Yeah. So let's see if we can focus on that go move and staying up. That was better. That was better. Now I want you to call out go. Stay up. Get, get, no, uh, 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 uh. See, that's oh, another yeah. thing. That's another thing that people want to do. They'll want to do like everything. You got to stay with the move of the day. You got to stay with the move of the day and realize that you're not going to be perfect. You're not going to look awesome. It takes time. Go. Good. It's getting better. That ball is leaving the window of opportunity a little too much. It's yeah. flowing out here a little too much. I want to see a little more here, Shelly. It's going a little too far out that way, which is making you almost having to hit a sidearm it's serve. It's hard to toss when yeah. you're not in the position yeah. you're used to being. You want to be through the window of opportunity, guys, where when you throw a ball up, it's like you're throwing a ball naturally. If you're coming out here, it's almost like you're throwing like a sidearm throw. You're going to lose a lot of power. Okay? So Shelly's window of opportunity is right through here with her toss. Let's see if she can get that. Go. Wow. <laughs> Come here, give me five. Come on up here. How, how'd, that, how'd that last serve feel? That felt really good. That felt really good. That was a lot, lot better. And that's what she's got to work on over and over again. Your homework assignment is just keep doing this, is to really keep watching your thumbnail. Because even on that last one, as awesome as it was, to tell you the truth, you still went a little bit back there. So your tendency is going to be, but you know, 
Rome wasn't built in a day, neither is your serve, but this is the blueprint of where you need mm -hmm. to go, okay? Are you willing to work at this yep. for a little bit? Yep. Can you see the progress? Can you can you see what the future might look like if you can keep yeah, doing this? Yeah, you got to stick to it. Got to stick really to it. Really tedious. Okay. So another thing that they got unnatural. Another thing that they got to stick to is this channel, guys. Subscribe. What do you think? Do they subscribe? Go for it. Yep. Go for it. Subscribe, like the video. And we might be in the middle of serve tip week when you're uh, watching this video. So you can go to crunchtimecoaching.com to sign up. And it's, it's, it's five days worth of serve tips. Each day you get a different tip on power, control, spin, accuracy, the toss, which, which you're having trouble with today. So we've got a whole day dedicated to mm -hmm. the toss. And uh, you don't pay anything. It's free unless you think I do a good job. You only pay me if you go, Pete, that was really good. I think you deserve a tip. He deserves a tip. Deserves a tip. All right, guys, take care. Great job, Shelly. Might, might have her back on more videos. I think she did awesome. <laughs>